Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Omer, and I'm a doctor. My passion is to share valuable knowledge that can enhance and potentially save lives. My mission is to empower you with information that can make a real difference in the world. Today, we have an important topic to discuss that affects millions of people around the world type 1 diabetes. If you or a loved one are living with this condition, you know firsthand the challenges it can bring. But fear not. In this video, we will learn all we need to know about type 1 diabetes, exploring its symptoms, causes, and the latest treatment options. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. Let's get started. Understanding Type 1 Diabetes Diabetes mellitus, simply known as diabetes, occurs when blood sugar levels exceed the normal range. There are two main types, type 1 and type 2 diabetes. Type 2 diabetes usually develops later in life and can be managed by dietary changes alone in the early stages. Check out my previous video about type 2 diabetes to learn all you need to know. Today we will focus on type 1 diabetes, this typically emerges in children and young adults. In this condition, the body stops producing insulin, leading to high blood sugar or glucose levels. Therefore, insulin injections, along with a healthy diet, are required for all type 1 diabetics in order to manage it effectively. Around 1 in 300 people in the UK develop it at some point. Symptoms of Type 1 Diabetes The early symptoms of Type 1 Diabetes include Excessive thirst Frequent urination Fatigue, weight loss, and general unwell feeling These symptoms tend to appear rapidly over days or weeks. Without insulin treatment, blood sugar levels rise drastically, leading to ketoacidosis, which is a dangerous condition with the risk of dehydration and even coma or death. Most type 1 diabetics are usually very unwell at the time they are diagnosed. Proper management is vital to avoid severe complications. Diagnosing type 1 diabetes A urine dipstick test can indicate high sugar levels in the urine, suggesting type 1 diabetes. However, a finger prick or blood test is necessary to confirm the diagnosis by assessing the glucose level in the blood. Causes of Type 1 Diabetes Type 1 diabetes is an autoimmune disease that arises when the pancreas fails to produce insulin, causing high blood glucose levels. The condition occurs due to certain cells and chemicals attacking and destroying the insulin-producing cells in the pancreas. While the exact cause remains unknown, it may be triggered by specific infections. Inheritance of Type 1 Diabetes Genetic factors play a role in making some people more susceptible to autoimmune diseases like Type 1 Diabetes. First-degree relatives of individuals with Type 1 Diabetes, such as siblings or children, have a higher chance of developing the condition, approximately 1 in 16. In the general population, this chance is around 1 in 300. Pancreas and Insulin Production Most cases of type 1 diabetes are considered autoimmune diseases, where the immune system produces antibodies that attack the body's own cells. For type 1 diabetes, antibodies are created against the beta cells in the pancreas, which produce insulin. These antibodies are believed to destroy the insulin-producing cells. The specific trigger for this immune response is unknown, but it is theorized to be linked to viral infections. In rare cases, type 1 diabetes can be caused by severe inflammation of the pancreas or surgical removal of the pancreas for various reasons. Complications of type 1 diabetes 1. Very high blood glucose level Without proper treatment or inadequate insulin use, blood sugar levels can rise rapidly, leading to dehydration, drowsiness, and severe illness. Infections or other illnesses may also trigger a significant increase in blood glucose levels, requiring insulin adjustments to maintain normal levels. 2. Long-term complications Persistent high blood glucose levels over time can damage blood vessels, leading to various long-term complications, including Atheroma, artery hardening, causing angina, heart attacks, stroke, and circulation problems. Eye problems affecting vision due to damage to the retina's small arteries. Kidney damage, which may progress to kidney failure. Nerve damage. 
foot problems resulting from poor circulation and nerve damage. Impotence due to poor circulation and nerve damage. 3. Periodontitis or gum disease risk. People with type 1 diabetes have an increased risk of gum disease also known as periodontitis. This can damage the tissues supporting teeth and potentially leading to tooth loss. Regular dental checks and correct management can improve blood sugar control and prevent complications. Hypoglycemia risk. Too much insulin can cause low blood glucose levels, known as hypoglycemia or a hypo, leading to symptoms like sweating, confusion, and feeling unwell. Hypoglycemia means blood sugar level below 4 millimoles per liter. Emergency treatment involves consuming sugar or sweet drinks or receiving a glucagon injection, followed by eating a starchy snack to stabilize blood sugar levels. Type 1 Diabetes Treatment While type 1 diabetes cannot be cured, effective treatment can help manage the condition and reduce the risk of complications. The primary goals of treatment are Maintaining blood glucose level, keeping blood glucose levels as close to normal as possible is crucial for symptom relief and reducing long-term complications. Regular monitoring using a glucose monitor at home is essential, with target levels between 4 and 7 millimoles per liter before meals and less than 9 millimoles per liter 2 hours after meals. Reducing risk factors, addressing other risk factors such as high blood pressure, through a healthy lifestyle is essential to minimize the risk of complications like heart disease and eye problems. Early detection of complications, regular monitoring and early intervention can prevent or delay the progression of complications. Continuous Glucose Monitoring CGM. For all adults with type 1 diabetes, continuous glucose monitoring CGM, devices are recommended by the National Institute for Health and Care Excellence, CGM involves wearing a tiny sensor under the skin, which frequently measures glucose levels in the fluid between cells. The information is wirelessly transmitted to a monitor, providing real-time glucose data, helping individuals manage their levels more effectively and reducing the risk of hypoglycemia. This can also help guide what doses of insulin are required. HbA1c test the HbA1c test measures the attachment of glucose to red blood cells, providing an average of what the blood sugar levels have been over the past three months. Regularly monitored by healthcare professionals, the aim is to maintain HbA1c levels below 48 mol slash mol, 6.5%, although individual target levels should be discussed and agreed upon with your doctor. Insulin and Type 1 Diabetes To manage type 1 diabetes effectively, Insulin injections are essential for life. Your healthcare provider will guide you on how and when to administer insulin, as it cannot be taken as tablets due to poor gut absorption. Here is a recap of the several types of insulin available, each tailored to your specific needs. Don't worry about learning these because your healthcare provider will discuss the ones relevant to your specific needs. Rapid Acting Analog Insulin injected just before, with, or after meals, and can lasting 2 to 5 hours. This helps control your glucose levels after a meal. Long-acting analog insulin, injected once daily, providing background insulin for around 24 hours with the aim to reduce blood sugars and keep them within a good range. Short-acting insulin, injected 15 to 30 minutes before a meal, covering the rise in blood glucose levels after eating, with a peak action of 2 to 6 hours and up to 8 hours duration. Medium-acting and long-acting insulin, taken once or twice a day for background insulin or combined with short-acting insulin, with a peak activity of 4 to 12 hours and lasting up to 30 hours. Mixed insulin, a combination of medium-acting and short-acting insulin. Mixed analog insulin a combination of medium-acting insulin and rapid-acting analog. Most people require two to four daily insulin injections, adjusting the type and amount based on diet and exercise. Insulin Pumps Insulin pump therapy delivers a continuous infusion of fast-acting insulin under the skin throughout the day and night. It requires careful monitoring and motivation, so may not be suitable for everyone with type 1 diabetes. Future Alternatives Exciting developments and ongoing research aims to find insulin administration alternatives, such as nasal and oral sprays, patches, tablets, and inhalers. 
However, these options are not yet widely available in the UK. Healthy Diet A healthy diet is essential for patients with diabetes. Focus on a diet low in salt and sugar, high in fiber and good fats, with plenty of vegetables. Limit carbohydrate, such as bread, pasta, rice, potato, consumption. Do not have too much fruit due to its high natural sugar content. You may be referred to a dietitian for personalized advice if you are struggling. Speak to your healthcare provider about this. Monitoring blood glucose levels. Regularly monitoring your blood glucose levels will help you adjust insulin doses in diet according to your daily routine. The Dose Adjustment for Normal Eating and Exercise Daphne, program is a very useful resource that provides guidance for managing insulin doses with a varied diet and exercise. I have added a link to this in the description below. Reducing Other Risk Factors To lower the risk of complications, it's crucial to address other risk factors alongside diabetes management. Here is a brief recap of things to bear in mind. Control Blood Pressure regularly monitor your blood pressure. High blood pressure combined with diabetes poses a significant risk of complications. Even mildly elevated blood pressure should be treated. I have recently done a video telling you all you need to know about high blood pressure or hypertension and another video about the natural ways of controlling it, so please check these out if you would like to learn more. Quit smoking, smoking increases the risk of complications, so it's essential to quit. Seek support from a nurse or smoking cessation clinic if needed, who may consider nicotine replacement therapy or medication to aid in quitting. Engage in physical activity, regular physical activity reduces the risk of complications, especially heart and blood vessel disease. Aim for at least 30 minutes of brisk walking at least 5 times a week, or more vigorous activities like swimming, cycling, jogging, or dancing. Activities that get you mildly out of breath and sweaty are beneficial. Cholesterol management. Depending on age and how long you have had diabetes, you may need medication to lower cholesterol levels in order to help reduce the risk of heart disease and stroke. Weight management. Excess weight increases the risk of heart and blood vessel disease. Aim to reduce this through diet and exercise. Encourage a healthy lifestyle for children, even in young children with diabetes, promoting a healthy lifestyle is vital for long-term benefits as they grow. By addressing these risk factors, you can significantly improve your overall health and reduce the likelihood of complications related to diabetes. Detecting and Treating Complications Regular visits to specialized diabetes clinics are essential for monitoring your condition and detecting any potential complications. Various healthcare professionals will be involved in your care, including doctors, nurses, dietitians, podiatrists, foot care specialists, optometrists, eye health specialists, and others. Here is a summary of the checkups you will regularly require. Blood tests, monitoring blood sugar levels, HbA1c, cholesterol, and blood pressure to assess your diabetes management. Diet and lifestyle advice. Ongoing guidance on maintaining a healthy diet and lifestyle. Eye checks, immediate referral to the NHSI screening service for adults diagnosed with type 1 diabetes, to detect any potential retinal problems and prevent further complications. Foot checks, regular examinations to prevent foot ulcers and address any concerns related to foot care. Urine testing, assessing protein in the urine to detect early kidney problems. Nerve function tests, checking the sensation in your legs to detect early nerve damage. Kidney function tests, evaluating kidney function and other general tests to monitor overall health. Immunization, ensuring you receive annual flu vaccinations and a one-time pneumococcal vaccine to protect against infections, which can be more severe in individuals with diabetes. Regular checkups are crucial, as early detection of complications allows for timely intervention and prevention of further deterioration. By staying proactive and engaging with your healthcare provider, you can effectively manage your diabetes and reduce the risk of long-term complications. You can lead a normal life with type 1 diabetes. Don't let it be a hindrance to you. There are athletes, Olympians, and all sorts of people leading fulfilling lives despite having type 1 diabetes. 
And that's it guys, we have covered a lot of useful information today. I hope that this information will be a helpful resource for either you or someone you love. As a full-time doctor, my goal with this channel is to share my medical knowledge with all of you to help improve your overall health and well-being. If you found this video useful, please consider subscribing for more helpful content just like this. I'll be publishing a new video every week, so if you have any suggestions for future topics, please leave a comment below. Until then, take care of yourselves and stay healthy.